What is up guys, Fossil Madness here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a quick glimpse at um, a small portion of my collection. Here we have a Hildosterus lusitanicum. This is from Salwick Bay, UK. Preservation is really nice. There's a kind of rich brown colour to it. The whorls carry on all the way to the centre. Um, I prepared this myself after I bought it from a friend. I just needed to touch up on the keel and a bit of the whorl and obviously smoothing down the rock. That's turned out quite nicely, I think, really. It's about 15 centimetres across in length. It's certainly a nice example, and definitely worthy of display. <sighs> so next we've got the articulated vertebrae of an ichthyosaur. This is the tail bend. So this would be where the tail bends in the body. Now you can see the bend there. This was found um, at Lavernock Beach, UK. I think that's either in Scotland or Wales. Really nice piece indeed. Let's see how many vertebrae we've got. So we've got one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven and a half, twelve and a half, thirteen and a half, fourteen and a half, and we'll call that a half. So it's about fifteen vertebrae there, ish. Along with the associated bones at the bottom. That's also a very nice piece and local to my country. The back's being coated in paraloid, so that's definitely a nice piece. Very happy with that. The next two pieces are not actually from the UK. Here we have a Carcharodontosaurus haricus tooth. This is a nice example as well, a nice rich colour. <coughs> Serrations are good. Definitely a very nice tooth indeed. This is from Morocco, if I remember right. I think it's from Morocco anyway, I can't remember exactly. Somewhere around there. Definitely not from America though, this too. Which is very, very nice indeed. You can see the serration is there just on the video. Yeah, very nice tooth indeed. And the final tooth we have to show you today is a Nanotyrannus lancensis tooth. This is a beautiful tooth, I'm actually going to try and bring it out on video with one hand, if I can get my nail under that pin, pull that out, it's got a double pin so the lid doesn't come off, Let's see if I can do the other one as well, while I'm on it, quite difficult really with one hand, you can see the beautiful specimens in the background, if I can pull that off, that should do it. Very gently now. I have to be very careful with this tooth. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, this is a really nice example of an Anatyrannus lancensis tooth. I'm just going to bring it out of the box. Now, this was found in America naturally. I think this was found at Hell Creek. I can't honestly remember. Um, I think it was at the Powder River Formation or something to that to that name. It's hard to see, but the serrations are pretty much perfect on this too. See if I can get it to focus. It's hard to see. Sorry about that. But this is an exquisite tooth indeed. A very fine example. The controversy that surrounds this dinosaur is actually quite interesting. Um, <clears throat> some paleontologists believe it to be a separate taxon of Tyrannosaur, while others believe it to be an actual juvenile Tyrannosaurus rex. Now, either way, it's a Tyrannosaur tooth, but to have a juvenile rex tooth in my hand would be something quite special. As you can see, that is a gorgeous tooth. Place that back in its box. Bring some of the specimens up just to put alongside. Now the interesting thing about this is that these three creatures are from millions of years apart and from different continents. These creatures would never have met in real life. Um, they are all extinct now unfortunately. But the fact that one person can bring them all together for the first time in history is something quite special I think really. Um, 
so yeah that's been my collection today really that's just a brief a brief look really at my collection hope you've enjoyed it please let me know if you like the video and if i can make any improvements um and yeah that's about it this has been fossil madness i'll see you next time